So all of this is really dark, but it's not really a black. It's more of an extremely dark brown. So I've got a dark brown. I'm going to use sticks because they're easier to get rich color and they're easier to blend as well. Okay, so you won't get it anywhere near this dark with pan pastels. You will get it nice and dark with pencils, more so than pan pastels, but as I said, it's uh, easier to blend with sticks. So we can just use circular strokes like that. You want to get enough pastel down to be able to blend it. And I want to go over my edge because that's the edge I would put a, a mount to and then small strokes you see to blend it in again nice flat color and then I will want it darker than that so I'll put some black with it and see and then I can just blend the two together to get a dark kind of blacky brown like that so let's just keep on going Now my second tip is to put enough pastel down, otherwise you're just not going to get that coverage, you won't get the opacity. You'll see the paper through it, I see that on lots of beginner and novice artwork, and you won't be able to blend it nice and smoothly, okay? If you don't get enough pastel down, it's going to cause you more problems by far than if you put too much down. Remember, on the background, we're not worried about details, so you can't really overdo it. circular strokes obviously I'll have to tidy that edge If I don't go up to the edge, then it will just look cut out and I'll have that halo effect that I talk about in lots of my videos. You get to see a kind of a rim edge all the way around following the shape of the subject, which we obviously really don't want. Tip three, if you're gonna need vibrant colors like the red in the background, don't put anything really dark underneath. So if I put that dark brown or even a black, underneath I would not get that red it would really muddy and dirty up so if you need a vibrant color make sure it's going straight down on the paper so let's use this for the edge and the main where well, it goes a bit darker anyway doesn't it so it doesn't matter if that's in there all of it really and this will blend together there Let's do it in the whole area and then put some lighter colour on top. <coughs> Excuse me. Give that a bit of a blow away. Right, so clean finger is going here. So that's that flat darkish ready colour to start with. Make sure I go over that edge again, everywhere. Let's do this one. Right, and let's merge these together. I want that dark to come in, so I'm going inwards like that.
and garden ridge soft. darker in there I thought. Hope you've enjoyed this short video. There's the full length version of this Santa Teddy on my Patreon art channel and literally hundreds of other videos on there as well. You get access to seven years worth of videos. Avoid the frustration of trial and error and start learning like thousands of my other students. Hope to see you there real soon. If you're struggling to draw animals or to improve your art, I can share with you the techniques I've learned over 25 years so you can avoid frustration and trial and error and start to enjoy drawing and creating straight away. Hi, my name is Jason Morgan. I'm a professional artist and I would love to be your guide on your unique art journey. I've fallen in love with pastels and I'm sure you will too. There's really no other medium that has the vibrancy and color intensity and the ability to put light over dark. That's an absolute game changer for the animal artist. Now on my channel, you get immediate access to hundreds of hours of lessons and demonstrations and you go completely at your own pace. There's absolutely no rushing in my art channel and lessons. Think of it like a video library. You pick the video you like, something that really takes your fancy and you take as long as you want to complete it. Or alternatively, you can watch my videos, learn the techniques and apply them to the subjects that really inspire you. And you also get new reference photos each month. They're copyright free. You can use them in your art, sell your art, no worries whatsoever. Many of my artists came to me with little to no art ability whatsoever and they're truly amazed with what they're now creating. You could be doing that as well. Now don't think age is a problem. You're really never too old to start learning and enjoying art. And many of my students are 40, 50, 60, 70, even 80 years of age. Now my channel is about much more than lessons and techniques. You also get access to my secret private Facebook group and that's full of members that's literally grown up with my channel. They're super supportive and kind. They come from all over the world. So if you've got any questions, you can rest assured there's going to be someone there really quick with a solution to your problems. Now with my channel, you're not tied into any contract. You can literally come and go as you please. You can go up tiers, you can go down tiers, whatever you want. And there's a tier and a price to suit literally any pocket. Now I've been doing art lessons for many, many years and I really pride myself on trying to create the absolute best lessons and demonstrations I possibly can. I really hope to see you there soon so you can start your art journey and I can't wait to see what you can achieve.